Welcome to Let's Play Sid Meier Civilization 5. For some odd reason, which I cannot explain. Because I just want to play Let's Play something. <laughs> I don't know. This is for the few or no that's an exaggeration there's no few for the none of you that don't know uh, this is a strategy action civilization management economy religion um, espionage management menu giant freaking tutorial game that's made by 2k games or something I don't know I'll put the creators and the stuff in the description for those of you who are interested and so that I don't get fucking sued by who ever made this fucking game because that is a pain in the ass uh, so I haven't tried scenarios, and to be honest, I'm not fucking interested. I'm just gonna go to advanced setup. And because I am a lazy cunt, I am going to delete all these I've set up. Team 1, Team 2, 3, and 4. These two are solo. We are a team with... I do not want to be Japan. Uh... I guess I'll be... I don't know! Which ones are cool? I like being Rome, but... She's weather my ally, I guess. Um... Oh, for fuck's sake. Where are they? Where are who? I'm not looking for anyone in particular, I'm just browsing because I'm lazy. And of course, there's Denmark, there's, a, there's no Norway. There's also Sweden. Fuck. Where the fuck is Norway? Oh, I hate the creators already. What? Ramchangheng. And then there's like... Kamehameha. <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not serious. Alright, I guess I'll take... Alright, what do you have? Bonuses. I don't know. I don't care. We'll have few city-states. We'll have like eight city-states. And the map type will be... Uh, oh, shit. Um, we can have an archipelago, I guess. No, fuck that. That is boring as shit. Uh, we'll have... Um, no, we'll have a Pangea. What does that mean? With expand, uh, expanded scripting for chains of islands and city-state placement? Okay, so I guess there are more chains of islands, but what's that stuff with the city-state placement thingamajig? I don't know. No, we'll just take the norm Pangea. World ages, four billion years. No, let's send it to five, actually. Uh, temperature is uh, hot. This is rainfall to uh, normal. Sea level is medium. Resources are standard. And, um, yeah, last time there was this, like, um, I. Raging barbarians. Fuck, Raging Barbarians. I'm often complaining when I'm playing this game that there is too little combat because I am a fucking pacifist for whatever reason. So I enabled Raging Barbarians and oh my fucking god. The goddamn Barbarians are spawning left and right, which is why I'm gonna take this. This, yes. And because this is a let's play, I'm gonna enable quick movement and quick combat. No, not quick movement, just combat. Um, 
will have no ancient ruins because it pisses me off every time. Like the AI keeps finding it, especially when I hear like my teammate keeps finding it. Um. Yes. Promotion saving. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This person. No, we'll, we'll not have that. No. Does this? Yeah, this prompt. This prompts me. All right. Diplomatic and time only. There is no fucking domination, no science, and no cultural. That makes the game too short, in my opinion. Even though I haven't played it yet. Um, map size is huge. Difficulty level is Prince, which I will lower to Chieftain because I suck at this game. So fucking bad. Like, you would not even believe. Yeah, we have what we need. Um, um, I guess I'll select um, Team 2 and we'll select a bastard that I hate so much. Um, so, yeah, we'll take Dito because she pisses me off. And we'll take. Uh, I don't know. We'll take the Swede. Because I hate Swedes. Us Norwegians have always had a bitter hate towards Swedes and Danes. Comes with the territory, you know. I will declare war on both of them. <laughs> yeah, and the last one can be random. Yeah, I think I've set up everything. Let's get going. The blessings of heaven be upon you, beloved King Darius of Persia. You lead a strong and wise people. I have a very cool beard. In the morning of the world, the great Persian leader Cyrus revolted against the mighty Median Empire, and by 550 BC, the Medes were no more. Through cunning diplomacy and military prowess, great Cyrus conquered wealthy Lydia and powerful Babylon, his son conquering proud Egypt some years later. Over time, Persian might expanded into faraway Macedonia on the very door of the upstart Greek city-states. Long would Persia prosper, until the upstart villain Alexander of Macedon destroyed the great empire in one shocking campaign. I'm not paying Darius, attention to this your at all, by the way. people look to you to once again bring back the days of power and glory for Persia. The empire of your ancestors must emerge again to triumph over its foes and to bring peace and order to the world. O oh, king, will you answer the call? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Probably not, because I suck at this game and I I am actually considering turning off this fucking music because it pisses me off. <laughs> well, anyway, golden ages last 50% longer. Okay, that's cool. During Golden Age, you receive one plus one movement. Ooh, that's nice. A plus ten percent combat strength bonus. That means I need to feed my civilization as much as I can. So, feeding it is. What the hell is an immortal? Ancient. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, not ancient era. Oh, I guess that gives me a good starting point. Pushing my building using that. Blah 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 blah. What? Spear. Oh, yeah. So we've got Satrap's court. Um, ooh, we are rich. So this is a civilization that like relies on money, and I did that again. Okay. Fortunately, I'm recording this with two tracks because I'm not a dumbass, and I know that the audio levels can be extremely differing. So I can edit them at will after recording which is a great thing with multi-channel recording I will just set you okay I haven't played this in a while um, I will just set you to no explore automatically just do it okay so before we start um, right, um Uh, no tile recommendations, no reward pop-ups. Wait, you can actually pop that on, yeah. What is that? 
Um, no advice. I don't want any advice. I don't care. I don't want any advice. Because that is annoying. All the time. Uh, turn on the music volume because I'm unsure about this. Um, this these I can edit. Uh, do, do, uh, why am I looking at this? Oh no! Oh, fuck's sake! I gotta stop doing that. Okay. I'm just gonna do this quickly. No town recommendations. I can't remember what I chose. Bind the mouse to the game window. What the hell is that? I don't know. Down to 20. Except, I cannot believe I did not see it. I saw the big shiny button, but I thought it meant, meant like default for some reason. Anyway. Uh, there's ivory. So apparently we're in like Africa or something. Uh, where the hell can we set up? I want... No, you know what? I think this is a good starting spot, because there's marble over here, there's ivory here and here. The only problem is I kind of want horses. We can establish another city, because we got money! Next. Jeez. Uh, Look, found a city. So our city name is Petropolis or Perse Persepolis or per Perse Persepolis. So production, worker, science, uh, this, and we'll just expand by like exploring or something. You know, actually, I'll end the episode here. And um, this was like the setup episode, if you know what I mean. So, we will continue this next episode on Let's Play Civilization V. Sid Meier, Civilization V. I tried checking into that why it's called, like, Sid Meier's. It just sounds egotistical, but whatever. See you next time on Let's Play... Sid Meier's Civilization V. Gods and Kings or something.